Do you guys want more reasons to explore the nether? Maybe you want to find some randomly generated ores that can be used to obtain blocks that are otherwise impossible to gain without hacks. I don't know, maybe you would simply want to live in the nether and still be able to gather valuable resources without having to return to the overworld too much. Luckily, there is a mod available to you guys who want this, so let's have a look shall we? Hello everyone, my name is PythonGB and welcome back to another Minecraft mod spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Nether Ores mod. It's made by a user on Minecraft forums by the name of Power Crystals, and this mod is actually very simple, which makes it awesome. And so if we go into first person and enable this, as you can see, we have all of the vanilla ores all in a line. This is the Nether Ores mod. What it essentially does is that it spawns all the vanilla ores in the Nether. Basically, it's sort of counterpart. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mine these. So I'm just going to go ahead and middle click this so we know what it is. So we've got nether coal ore here. And all of the ores are randomly generated around the nether. They have no specific spawning mechanism or whatever. So they will spawn literally anywhere. So the diamonds could be on the roof. They could be on the floor. They could be underneath the lava for all I know. But all I do know is that it is very random. <laughs> Okay, so what you're going to want to do to t transfer the nether coal ore into regular coal ore is you're going to want to go to a furnace, which I have right here, and chuck this in here. What this will do is it will make it into the regular coal ore, so basically it makes otherwise unobtainable blocks obtainable. So it's pretty cool. So as you can see, it gives you two coal ore. So if we go ahead, plant them down, you can go ahead, if you have like a fortune pickaxe, you can go ahead and uh, mine these and get your coal, which is pretty damn awesome. Now as you can see, we've got all of the other vanilla ores as well. So you've got iron, you have gold, lapis lazuli, redstone, diamond, which is extremely rare to find. With the diamonds, they only spawn like one at a time. They don't actually have like veins in particular. And with emeralds, I've never ever seen one of these naturally generate, so uh, I reckon they are incredibly rare. But as you can see, we actually have one right out here. It's a naturally generated uh, gold ore, which is pretty damn awesome. And if we have a little bit of a look around, you can see down here we've got some uh, we've got some lapis ore, uh, we've got some quartz, which is regular, obviously, and uh, we've got loads of other things going as well. So we've got redstone down here, and it's all pretty damn cool right there. So if we just go ahead, give you another example. So we got gold ore. Let's go ahead and chuck it in there. Got a lava bucket as a fuel source because it lasts a long time. So yeah, another diamond, emerald, redstone, lapis, and iron. So it's pretty damn cool right there. Okay. Now, with the we actually have some non-vanilla ores right here. Now a lot of these come from Buildcraft and Red Power. Now with these mods. If you don't have the mods installed that use these ores, they will not generate in your world. So for example, if you're only playing vanilla Minecraft, none of these ores will spawn in the nether. And so you don't have a use for them because obviously you don't have a mod to use them. So it will only spawn the vanilla ores, which is pretty damn cool in my opinion. I'm glad that they implemented that. It's a very cool thing. So as you can see, copper, tin, iridium, pig iron, that's a bit of a strange one, platinum, ferrous, silver, lead, uranium, Nicolite, and for some reason this was labelled incorrectly. This is in fact ruby. Uh, we've got green sapphire and of course the regular sapphire, and it is pretty damn amazing. Uh, just to give you a quick hint, if you go ahead, put this in here, and if you don't have the mod installed, then it won't smelt. So yeah, just a quick heads up right there. Now there's a couple of interesting things about these nether ores. If we go ahead into survival, okay, let's just quickly go ahead and do that. Survival. If you go ahead and mine one of these, the zombie pigmen aren't a big fan of you taking their ore. So if you mine these, they will become hostile towards you. So if we go ahead and do that... Okay. There's that unmistakable sound of them being peed off. As you can see, they are now all hostile towards me and I have to kill them all. I'm so sorry. It's absolutely necessary. <laughs> and you! Can't have anyone taking me down now. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool right there. And also... The other cool thing about these nether ores is, because it's in the nether, it's actually very dangerous. They have a random chance of exploding, and the good thing is you can hear the sort of TNT or creeper hiss sound as if the explosion is about to occur, so if we just go ahead and try it, we may hear one. Alright, so we need to try and find some nether ores. There we go, you heard the hiss sound, and it's now going to explode. Yep. So that's the thing with the nether ores mod. See, there's two really cool little things we've got going there. So they have a random chance of exploding. And they also have a random chance 
of not exploding and of course you can just go ahead and get them and if you mine them the pigmen will get peed off towards you and that's pretty cool right there but that is pretty much it for this mod spotlight thank you very much for watching please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want some more daily minecraft content go ahead and subscribe to the channel it is python gb and it's pretty cool right there this zombie pigman is still peed off at me but as always we do have a mod installation tutorial to follow and stick around if you want to know how to install them i shall see you guys in a second Alrighty guys, so it's now time for me to show you how to install the Nether Ores mod. Now, before you begin, the first step, as I will always say in these tutorials, is to back up your Minecraft saves and your directory, because of course, you don't want to have any chance of losing your Minecraft saves, because that would kind of suck, and again, I'd know because I've had it happen. And it really does suck. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your internet browser and you're going to want to download Minecraft Forge. Now just to clarify, the version of Minecraft I was using in the mod spotlight was 1.5.2. So the latest Minecraft Forge version is 7.8.0. So if we go ahead and download it, you will see that it is Minecraft Forge build 684. And as you can see, once again, I renamed it accordingly. So of course you guys can easily see what we're doing. So let's just quickly get a photo up. Again, rename the wall so you know what's going on. So, of course, we've got the Nether Wars mod, Minecraft Forge, Power Crystal Score, and MC Patcher. So, MC Patcher is, in my opinion, the best and easiest way to install mods. Obviously, other people will say otherwise. You can install mods in many other ways. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, MC Patcher. So, of course, we've got the MC Patcher page. You're going to want to download it. And once you've done that, just pull it in the folder or wherever you want to use it. And of course, we have to go into the Power Crystals page where the Nether Ores mod is located. We're going to want to download Power Crystals Core for 1.5.2. Or obviously, if you're using 1.5.1, then of course you can go ahead and download the 1.5.1 version. But for again, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going with 1.5.2. So we've got Power Crystals Core. That is required. Otherwise, the Nether Ores mod won't work. It's basically like another um, an API or whatever, or like a core mod, which you will need if you want the Nether Ores mod to work. And talking of Nether Ores, if we just go ahead and click on this, as you can see, this is the Nether Ores mod part of the thread. And you're going to want to download it for 1.5.1. Now, just to clarify again, if you use 1.5.2, this will still work as long as you're using the Power Crystals core for 1.5.2. So you can have either version and a Nether Ores mod will still work. As in... Uh, God, it's too hard to explain. Basically, if you have 1.5.2, download the Power Crystals Core for 1.5.2. If you have 1.5.1, download Power Crystals Core for 1.5.1. It's really easy. It's just a case of common sense, really. So you got all the mods here, and it's all pretty damn cool. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go ahead and download a fresh copy of Minecraft. If you want to, of course, you can go ahead and just simply add this mod onto your other mods if you so wish. Oh my god, come on Minecraft launcher, you don't normally freeze on me, god dang it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log in, it will download a fresh copy of Minecraft. When it's loaded, you're going to want to close it, so as you can see, it's now downloading everything, which is awesome. And it may take a while, so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so as you can see, we've got Minecraft loaded up, we're now going to close it, and we're now going to go into MC Patcher, as you can see, so of course we're going to open it, and it should come up with this little baby here, which is awesome. The center of all mod installations, for me anyway. <laughs> it's pretty damn cool. So once again, we're going to go ahead, untick all of these. We're going to add a mod in. The only mod we need to install via MC Patcher for this tutorial is in fact the the Minecraft Forge. So it's pretty cool right there. So if we go into Mod Spotlights, another ores. So yeah, as you can see, Minecraft Forge 684. Okay, so let's go ahead and patch the game, which is pretty cool. And then what we're going to do, we're going to click Test Minecraft, and what this will do, it will install all the Forge files into your Minecraft installation, and it'll all go swimmingly well. Once Minecraft loads again, you're going to want to close it, because this will add a couple of very, very vital folders. Because if you don't have these folders, then you won't be able to install a mod, quite simply. So, again, once it's loaded up, you're going to want to close it. I shall see you guys in a second. Okay, so again, we've got it loaded up. As you can see, three mods loaded, just to clarify. We've got the Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and quit the game. Okay, let's go ahead and close this. Okay, so now for the slightly more interesting part. We're going to go into the Minecraft folder, which is, uh, if you don't know, it's percent app data percent. You don't need the forward slash before. There we go. So you've got dot .minecraft folder, and there you go. I've put it in there just by sort of going on some Minecraft, dragging it in there, and it will create a little link. And I customized it, so it's all looking pretty damn cool right there. Okay, so you have two folders. One's called core mods. And one is called mods. What you're going to want to do, if you go into the core mods folder, you want to drag the power crystals core into that. Okay, that's pretty cool. And into the mods folder, you're going to want to put the nether ores mod in there. Okay. And finally, this should have worked. So if we go ahead 
Let's log in once again. Once it loads, fantastic. Come on, Minecraft launcher. Bloody Java. Such a memory hog. I hate it so much. Okay, so we're going to log into Minecraft and hopefully this should all work. Okay, so as you can see, five mods loaded. It now says Power Crystal Score, and Nether Ores on the bottom of the list. So it's all pretty good, so we know that they're installed. So just to make sure, we're going to go into Creative, Create a New World, Create another portal, and let's go ahead and see if those Nether Walls are there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and search for some walls, shall we? Okay, hang on a sec, let's just go ahead and increase the brightness a little bit. Just so we can see a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got some nether walls going. We've got some nether redstone. We've got quartz. We've got all sorts of things going as well. I apologise about the lag. Um, the nether takes a long time to generate these days in the most re recent versions of Minecraft. Don't know why. Maybe it's the quartz. I don't know, or maybe it's the mod. But whatever the case, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Thanks again for watching. My name is BPythonGB. I hope you found this useful, and I shall see you guys next time.